Good morning guys. I'm about to run out the door. I'm gonna take Max to go get his bath. I wanted to show you my outfit right quick. I could not be bothered with pants today. I am finally on my cycle and bloated and sweatpants are the way to go. I got this specific one from Old Navy. They're $35 and I got them in like five different colors. Um, so this is clearly the black one. They're nice and high-waisted. I paired them with my fall boots because it's been raining all morning and all yesterday. It's just so soggy outside. The hot flashes have been so real. I paired it with just a cute tank top because this part needs to be exposed and get air. Like, I need breath. I need oxygen. I need air. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, I announced in my last vlog that I am currently starting perimenopause and um yeah anyway this is my bag from amazon my little leather bucket bag where i can just throw everything in so that's the outfit on my lips i'm wearing elevate beauty liquid lipstick in the color uncancelable this is what it looks like it's nice and dark and it doesn't smudge and i just love the color there's no time for breakfast, so I just grabbed one of my Soylents. This is in creamy chocolate flavor. And then you guys, I finally got my hands on the Kathleen Lights nail polish. I didn't even know she had a nail polish line. It's called Lights Lacquer, and this color is Mrs. Darling. And it's just a really beautiful milky nude. Just so you have an idea of the shine. This is so fast drying, I was shocked. I am in the middle of getting ready to run out the door and I thought let me just try one nail really quick and I did two layers and it dried immediately. I am so in love with this formula and the brush is so thick. It's one of those high quality like sturdy brushes that are really thick and coats the entire nail bed. Do two strokes and you have the whole thing done. I've got to run out the door right now, but when I get back, I have such a fun vlog planned for you guys. We are celebrating the official first day of fall. I guess it'll be the second day by the time you guys see this, but we're baking some delicious things and making delicious things. And I will be updating you on the baby rabbits outside. I have my phone here because I have to update you guys on these baby bunnies. They're so cute, these baby bunnies. If you didn't catch my last vlog, Max discovered three little baby rabbits and a nest in the backyard, and I really didn't know what to do about it. I know now, and I'm gonna share with you, but I kind of freaked out. My dog, Syro, likes to eat rabbits. He's more of a hunting dog, and Maxwell is just more sensitive, and he was out there guarding them, wouldn't let anybody near them, and just didn't leave their side. I had to literally peel him away from the nest, and I was like, get inside. So now I have like a 30 foot long leash that I keep in the backyard on the left side so the dogs get like the left half and then the bunnies get the right half, okay? Anyway, there's four things that you're supposed to do if you find these bunnies in your backyard. And number one is determine if they're injured. So if one is dead or if you can see they're really injured, you're supposed to remove them from the nest and like leave the others in there. Usually the mom takes a little bit of her fur uh, with grass and straw or whatever's out there and she covers them so you want to keep them covered if you ever discover baby rabbits cover them back up leave them alone number two is to determine if they've been abandoned so what they recommend is you get some yarn or sticks or something and kind of make a little cross over the nest and see if the mom returns and uncovers the nest to nurse the babies and if you go out there the next day and that cross is still there untouched then perhaps she did abandon them because she typically will come back every 12 to 24 hours to nurse them so what happens i was like why does the mom leave they're so vulnerable right but what happens is when they're born there's absolutely no scent and the mom is very specific on where she creates the nest she also does not want her scent to attract predators so she stays away from the nest yeah I wanted to make sure that she didn't get killed or something and she does come back last night it rained and one of the major killers of baby bunnies is flooding in their little burrow their little hole and I was like oh my gosh like I could not sleep last night I can barely sleep anyway but I was so stressed about it. Okay, so once you determine if they've been abandoned or not, then three is to determine their age by observation. You don't wanna to touch them. There's some sort of myth out there that if you touch baby birds, if you touch rabbits, your scent gets on them and the mother is no longer interested. That is a myth. But you definitely don't wanna to touch them because they can carry a, a disease called tularema, which is also like rabbit disease. It's relatively rare, but 
regardless, if you do happen to touch them, you want to wash your hands really well because humans can get them from, you know, different types of rodents and ticks. Anyway, the last tip number four is you can leave a carrot or something for the mom. I just kind of put it by the nest. When I woke up this morning, the cross sticks were still there. The carrot was still there. So I'm going to go out there and check again. Then we are going to start baking. You guys, I found the most delicious recipe. We are making baklava. I think I'm going to change my top because I need a bra. I don't feel... Let me change. I bought a phyllo dough and I'm going to chop up my nuts. I'm using a combination of chopped hazelnuts, uh, pistachios, and walnuts. So I know there's like a Turkish version and then a Greek version. I guess it's more of the Greek version, I think. But uh, I don't have orange extract or orange peel. That's the only thing that's gonna be different. So I'm gonna put all the nuts in the blender, pulse it until it's, you know, I'll be back. Then we need to melt two cups of butter, which is four sticks. I have one in there already. This is a lot of butter. Just like that. Okay, we're supposed to take the milk salt off that white foamy stuff so that we're only left with the pure butter i think that looks good i'm gonna turn off the heat here's our beautiful ghee and then we want to dip I use parchment paper, but you don't have to. And you wanna use a nine by 11 pan, I believe. This is a nine by nine, so it's all I had. Here's our dough. is the last layer and then I'm going to cut it and you want to make sure that you're cutting through the nuts all the way down I don't know if I'll be able to do diamond shaped since I don't have the proper shaped pan this is a square and not a rectangle so I'm just gonna do squares okay that'll do Now to make the sauce that will go on top, I have one cup of water, half a cup of sugar, and I need one cup of honey. And then we're gonna put some spices in next. This is the part where I'm supposed to add some orange peel, which I don't have, or orange extract. And I'm actually gonna put some pumpkin pie spice seasoning in here because it has the cloves and the allspice and the cinnamon. It's got a little bit of nutmeg, but yeah, I don't have cinnamon sticks or anything like that, so I'm improvising on the seasoning. So I'm just gonna do like a teaspoon of each thing. The smell of this, you guys, it smells like the holidays. Spicy, warm, just cozy feeling. Ugh, this is my favorite dessert. I really, really hope that this turns out well. And that's the thing about cooking. It doesn't have to be exact. 
If you're someone who's like me and you just can't follow a recipe or you just don't have all of the ingredients, get as close as you can, do your best, and I assure you it's likely going to be really good. So this cooks for 8 to 10 minutes until it gets a little more syrupy and not so watery. And then we'll dump it on top. Look how beautiful these turned out. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump this on there. I don't know if I'm gonna need all of it or not. We have to let that cool completely and then I'll cut it up and show you guys what it looks like in the inside and give you a nice close up. We'll hear the crunch of it. <sighs> so excited. All right, it has cooled and it looks so delicious. I cannot wait to try this. I once had this at a restaurant in Kansas. It was so cinnamony and the lady served it with um, vanilla ice cream on top and a sprinkle of cinnamon on the ice cream. So good. Wow. Try this recipe, you guys. It's perfect for holiday time, perfect to bring to someone's house as a gift. The spices really balance the sweetness of the honey. It's just heaven, so good. Mm, 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 mm. I was watching my Big Fat Greek Wedding the other day <laughs> and the dad wanted the baklava with strawberries on top. I know some people eat it with chocolate. I'm gonna try it with a fresh strawberry. I feel like this is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. This was a 10 out of 10, but with the strawberries, 12 out of 10. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's the next day. This is one cup of boiling hot water. And this is the chai that I purchased from Amazon. Upon opening, it smells so incredible. I'm really excited to drink this. The directions on the back say one cup of water and three tablespoons of the chai. Simmer for three minutes and then add a cup of milk. And then I'm going to strain it into my little mug here. So. We're gonna let that sit for three minutes while we chit chat. The bunnies. You guys, there are so, I don't really, I didn't know what I was doing with these bunnies. I'm just Googling as I go, trying to do the best thing for them. We found out that the mom wasn't coming back. She, I don't know if she got eaten or what happened, but she hasn't been back in 48 hours. And when I went to go check on them this morning, let's just say they were not doing well. They were barely moving and they just looked incredibly weak and unwell. So I just started like crying as soon as I saw them. Oof. Um, so I called my vet's office and I asked if they would take them and they said no, but they gave me some clear instruction on what to do if I would like to care for the bunnies. Um, there's so much like mixed information online. I went to the local pet store and I picked up some kitten milk. And then I got a little baby bottle, which I'm gonna show you guys in just a second because I'm gonna take you upstairs to go look at them. I put them in a shoe box. I put a little bit of grass in there. They were so cold to the touch. It felt like I was picking up an ice cube. One of them didn't make it. Ugh. <sighs> um, so I made sure that I put gloves on because I don't know if these wild rabbits are ill. And I got the bottle and the milk. 
I made them a little home. I took some grass from their nest and just warmed bl a blanket and I was very gently rubbing them and cuddled them together and I was <sighs> like giving them heat. This has just been such an emotional roller coaster. I wanted to get up early today and have a great breakfast with you guys and make a tea and do all this stuff. Um, it's currently 2.32 in the afternoon because as soon as I saw them I had to run to the pet store and create this little habitat and then I just wanted to hold them. I named them Hansel and Gretel and I really hope they pull through. I don't know if they're going to for sure but we'll just see how this goes. Let's go look at them. So this is the bathroom. It's nice and dark in here. This is the heater that I have on and then I have the rabbits in that shoe box. Here is their little bottle. See, this is one, his little head and body. I want to make sure that they make it first um, and then take them in to get them vaccinated or whatever it is that you do with bunnies. But yeah, you guys, it's been very emotional and I just started my period and I'm already emotional anyway. I wanted to just let nature take its course, um, but since the mom hasn't come back, it's like, what do you do? You know what I mean? I'm gonna go wash my hands, you guys right back. Okay, so our tea is about done. You're supposed to do this on the stove top. I just wasn't able to today. You boil the water and then you put one cup of milk, let that boil, and then you strain it. Cheers, you guys. I actually prefer this over the tea bags. I'm gonna enjoy this on the couch and watch something cozy. I'm kind of coming down from a lot of anxiety from everything that went on this morning. I've just been doing like chest rubs and deep breathing and stretching and like trying to relax and calm my body. This has me so worked up. This is so good, you guys. I have a couple of fun videos coming up I'm doing a fall fragrance video what's in my fall bag summer to fall transitional outfits i have some really good content coming your way so if i could just get myself together <laughs> hopefully next week i will be sharing some of these i need my hair to dry it's still wet it gets so big and voluminous now that i got a good trim i love it i'll have to show you guys a picture once it gets like big and pretty <sighs> Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Hey guys, just a quick update. I don't wanna to have to bring this up anymore or talk about it again. So the rabbits did not make it. They got down to 50 degrees last night. It was raining a lot the night before and they were very, very cold. When I picked them up to put them in the shoe box, like they were ice cold, barely moving. And I just thought maybe I could save them their lips were pale and they weren't even shivering because they were beyond that so they definitely had hypothermia i say definitely but according to google from all the things that i looked up they just didn't really have a chance and that's the end of that struck down in the middle of it i built up something to destroy Pieces of our broken bodies. I can't play with the pieces of our broken bodies.